Even with mail-in ballots and early voting, preparation for tomorrow's election is in overdrive. Joining me to talk about what to expect is San Diego County Registrar Deborah Seiler. Deborah, thanks for taking some time out and talking with us today. You're welcome. No, you're busy. Now, you brought in a lot of extra staff. Um, what are they doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, our office is like a regular polling place. We'll be open from 7 in the morning until 8 at night. People will be coming into our office to vote. And, of course, we will be fielding calls from all over the county regarding the voting experience throughout the 1,527 precincts that we have. Um, I came in and voted over the weekend at the registrar. Um, has early voter turnout, there were lines out the door when I went there, and they moved pretty fast. Has it been, uh, do you think, earlier voters, more of them this year? Yes, there have been more early voters this year than, than certainly in the June primary and certainly in, in the 2010 elections. We are, um, uh, we have lots of people coming in on Saturday. When you came in, we served 1,900 voters that day. Yeah, it moved pretty fast. Tell us the rule for mail-in ballots. Is it too late to mail in your ballot today? I would say yes, it is too, too late to mail in the ballot. And our office, our our, our facility is open from, uh, well, it was open at 7 this morning and it'll be open till 6 tonight. People just can drive into the facility there. They don't even have to get out of the car. They can just drive down to the drop off box and drop those mail ballots. Now, tomorrow, any voter in the county of San Diego can drop off their mail ballot at any polling place. That's a county of San Diego polling place. Right. Tonight, uh, it's too late for our audience after 6, but tomorrow, it's important to drop that in because they need to be uh, actually in your hands by tomorrow at close of election. That is correct. Yes, they need to be They need to be received by our office by close of polls, which is 8 p.m. Let's talk about the rules at the polling place. What can voters uh, not do? Let's start with that as far as badges, hats, uh, signs. What can and can't they do? Well, there's no electioneering. We call it electioneering within 100 feet of the polling place. So that means that voters will not be allowed to come into the polling place with a yes on 32 or a no on 30 or whatever uh, proposition they might be supporting or candidate. So they can't have any hats, buttons, shirts, jackets with campaign-related uh, messages on them. Uh, what about uh, when will you finish counting the votes? Like, So the polls close tomorrow at... Uh, what time do the polls close? Well, the polls close tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And just shortly after 8 o'clock, within a few minutes, we'll be releasing the results from all those mail ballots that came into our office early. And so that'll probably be maybe 25 30 percent of the entire vote that we'll release right then. But then we'll start counting the precinct ballots. Those returns start coming back around 930. And by 10, 30, 11 o'clock, we have lots and lots of precinct results. But we'll be counting those until we finish, until we've counted every last precinct. How about the mail-in ballots? Now, I know those get counted. The, the signatures have to be checked. So when will those be counted? Well, the, the, the voters who drop their mail ballots at the polling place tomorrow, and there will be many of them, those go into the count probably, uh, well, later this week and early next week, because you're exactly right. We do. We have to verify the signatures on all of those mail ballots before we can open them. All right. And let's talk briefly about poll uh, watchers. I understand there's actually several thousand out nationwide. There will be some here in San Diego. What do poll watchers do? Well, poll watchers do just that. They observe. They watch. Uh, it, it's part of making the poll process transparent. So people can sit there. They're now they're not supposed to uh, interfere with the voting process. They're not supposed to really speak to the voter. Uh, if, if they want to, they should be 25 feet outside the polling place. But they can see who's coming in. They can see that the process is being handled uh, appropriately. Um, and basically, they can just watch. They can't interfere or they certainly can't touch the ballots, but they can't may, touch the But they roster. may do exit polls, though, just so people aren't uh, surprised by that. <clears throat> they could do They could. They could ask voters about their voting experience or how they voted, but they must do that 25 feet from the entrance to the polling place. All right. Deborah Seiler, San Diego County Registrar of Voters, thanks so much for talking with us. You're welcome.